When you hear the word art, images of painting and sculptures usually fill our brains, but for one man in West Valley, art is simply a way of expressing his creativity. Yeah, Ashley Moser shows us how his dedication to taking the images in his mind and giving them form are bringing him a bit of fame. Saying it's not the best angle, I mean, you know, <clears throat> I do look good from the backside. Take a look at Nathan Anderson. And your ideas about how he spends his free time are probably wrong. I don't watch much football and don't drink beer, so. <laughs> but if you close your eyes and conjure up an image of a guy who makes knives in his garage, Nathan's face may spring to mind. Um, I like sharp things. <laughs> But it's not quite as simple as that. There's a lot of creativity inside me and it's just trying to get out. What he does is art. I've always loved art. Drawing, sculpting, painting, whatever. From sketching out designs to waging war with a length of hot steel, every step involves bending reality to make an image forged in his mind. It's something that you have to have a desire for because it's hard work. While Nathan has a full-time job, the dream has always been to turn this into his career. Knife making doesn't really have insurance, you know, and I've got a wife and five kids. But he recently took a big step towards sharpening that dream. Someone in a knife making group on Facebook reached out and after months of waiting... My wife got the email first and she's like, are you sitting down? I'm like, okay, you know, uh-oh, what happened? And she's like, you made it on it. And she printed out the email and framed it and it's on the wall and everything. That email offered Nathan a chance to appear on a show forged in fire on the History Channel. My name is Nathan Anderson from West Valley, Utah. He got a chance to compete for the experts and show off his skills by making a historically accurate executioner's sword. They gave parameters like it had all the specs. Nathan came in second, but he didn't hold even a hint of disappointment. In knife making world, even being on the show is a huge deal. The notoriety from his appearance has brought in new requests and more orders for his business. He may not look like your traditional idea of an artist, and his work may be engraved on steel instead of painted on a canvas. But if you ask Nathan, life is about taking something raw and molding it into any shape you can imagine. That's kind of always been part of me, being creative and being artistic. How cool. Yeah. So Forge and Fire airs on the History Channel, and if you'd like to see some of Nathan's work, you can find him all over social media under the name No Limit Blade.